Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you again how to adjust the dentures. I know I have some other videos related to the same thing, but I keep I keep getting questions about how to adjust uh, dentures. I think once you have a denture, it's important to know how to adjust this because uh, you're not gonna wanna go to the dental office every week or every other week. They're gonna schedule you kind of like in a month. You know, they're not gonna wanna see you every single day out there. Uh, of course, uh, it's, it's very important to know that the adjustment you do, they're not, they're not kind of a, a responsible for it and they will not want you to do it for yourself. But uh, what would you wanna be waiting for a month or a few weeks for going through that suffering, you know? Uh, it's, it's better to kind of learn and, and and, and learn how to do it for you own and then uh, and you don't have to be bothering them you know because they will show you the basic stuff they're not gonna show you exactly how to do it but uh, that's why I'm making those videos for those people who are in handy and then they can actually um, do it for themselves but first of all you have to um, obtain some of this you know some of this uh, uh, instrument which is so these tools which is you can get it at the local um, hardware place which is uh, Home Depot or any other store that you are familiar with so it's an expensive so just like less than $50 so and just uh, if you um, just uh, log into this uh, channel or this video you happen to just find it uh, don't forget to subscribe I have a videos every every um week so then uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit a notification right there i'm uh, gonna be showing you um how to be independent you know not going to run to the dental office for everything so just sit down tight and just enjoy so um i'm just gonna show you um how to you first use this instrument uh it's simple it is, it is simple to use it. Um, it just has the button of a... First, I guess I have to... I have to plug it in. And then ha has just the button of on, uh, on the low and then high. I never put it on high because too high vibrates a lot, so... You might have to um, even wear your face mask now uh, because it's gonna create a lot of dust um, when you're working with this. So uh, we're gonna talk about the most normal um, complaints. The normal complaints when you first offer you have your dentures, sometimes it's the bite. So when you're biting um, first and then you feel like a uh, you've been locked in place that you can't move uh, your jaw as much. You know, being locked um, sometimes it gets uncomfortable to be able to chew or be able to have a peaceful life with a denture because you can't move your jaw. So I'm just changing the beat over here and then. Um, and tie it up it comes with this little wrench so uh, all you do is you know exactly where or where your dentures is, is feel like so uh, lacking on you and you feel like your jaw is completely uh, tiring so you just turn it on and then uh, identify those areas and all you do is it's kind of a smooth out the tips of the of your denture. Well, you're gonna have to try the high. It's a little bit works better. Works better. And it's a little bit scary. Don't be scared. Just you're not gonna blow the. You're not gonna actually uh, mess up anything. This is rubber. You know, so you just kind of like grind on the tips of the of your dentures. Uh, if you're feeling like in place because the cast 
because the cost uh, is too high. The cost is too high, you know. So just grind on a little by little, and and then I'm just demonstrating in a way that how you can do it. Not necessarily this denture has a problem, but I'm just kind of demonstrating you how to do it. So you kind of like go one by one, one by one, and smooth it out. Grind down from the cast because your denture is not allowing you to slide your, your jaw because your want, jaw wants to be rested you know so you get both of them you, you know just grind on the tip just smooth things out you know you this this step is not gonna allow you to take a chunks of your teeth but there will be a moment where you want to take that chunk out and then just put the denture back in your mouth and then slide, try to slide. If it's still not sliding, just continue to grind on the teeth until actually come to the complete and slide. So there is that severe um, situation where you just cannot tolerate it. So all you do is if you want your flat plane, we call it flat plane flat plane occlusion all you need to do is uh if you want a flat plane occlusion i'm sorry you have to blow the cusp out but that will make it a little difficult for you to chew the food so you compromise in two things one the mastication chewing your food um in comfort you know you will be grinding your food uh, slightly differently a little bit um longer because your teeth are grind on so the worst case scenario i'm giving you the worst case scenario could not you know, you don't have no other weight, you don't care, you just want your comfort. You just want your comfort. So, the case of scenario that I'm planning here, worst case of scenario, you have to blow all the cusp out. See? You don't want those cusp because they're not allowing you to slide. You want to be comfortable and then slide and be able to relax your jaw. So here is, you know, this side is probably, it's basically smooth. And then here is also a smooth. That's the worst case of scenario here. That's what I'm playing, uh, letting you, uh, you could probably do any, um, just the one side and you don't have to do the other side. Because you still want to have that retention and be able to eat comfortably. So, as you can see here, I do not have a cast. It is completely flat. So, this will allow you to slide your jaw um, left and right and not having a problem. See? You can be able to play in a slide left and right. So this one, um, in the beginning, it will not make you move to a ne not neither side. So now you don't have no clasp, um, cusp. So you can play either way. Your jaw is free. It's not locked up, you know. So this is one of the biggest complaints sometimes over pe people about their dentures. Oh, I feel like... I'm hitting too hard. I'm hitting first. If you're hitting first without before you're doing rest, blow it off. You know, like just grind the cast that is making you uncomfortable. Grind the other side and then that way you will be slightly comfortable. And uh, my denture is open from one side uh, and the other one is not. So it's again, you're gonna have to compromise this
to grant from that side that it is slightly open for the other side to then close down. So you have to kind of do the stu studies around with yourself by looking yourself in the mirror. So you can adjust your own bike. It's, I don't, what I'm saying is I'm just giving you the basic way to do it and learn how to do it yourself. But the more uh, practical and then the solution is going to the dentist and do it for dentists can do it. But then if you can't tolerate it and you're sick of going to the dentist and because he's not solving the problem that you presented to him, well, um, start kind of like little by little do it for yourself. So having those instruments, if you have an open bite like this, and start grinding uh, on those areas that are high. If you have a bite like this, well, you're gonna have to remake your dentures. See, if your bite is not lining up correctly, if it's too open or any major situation where your jaw is not lining up, you're gonna have to remake that denture. So another thing that I, I have uh, heard and experimented my experience is my uh, lower denture or my top denture is not going down. Sometimes denture doesn't go down because you see those uh, undercuts, we call them undercuts, uh, is folding towards, there's that bone which is folding. So when when you venture, either when it's too long, and then uh, when they have that undercut on it, just get rid of it. You know, don't be scared, just get rid of it, you know. You can grind on it. Or either if your venture is too long, and it's uncomfortable and bothers you, then also, you can go do it a little by little. I, re I don't recommend you to do it straight up because then also if you're not experienced, you can ruin your denture. So, uh, again, first consult your office, your dental office, if you can get in. Sometimes they can charge you for adjustment or if you go there, they will not charge you for it. Um, so if your denture is too long, like what I'm doing over here is kind of like hitting it everywhere. So then that way, um, that denture can be comfortable. Sometimes my denture is too thick. My denture is too thick. Just to start kind of like a little by little, um, kind of reduce those areas where they feel thickness. This tip is not quite uh, doesn't take too much, but um, you can use the other one. You can use the other one. There is some of these um, tools that has everything you need to smooth down uh, your denture after you grind. There's a lot of these. Uh, Tools that has a whole bunch of set of tips to smooth, even polish your denture back. Uh, so this one is kind of more coarse. It takes a lot. So you can start using this first to reduce the thickness of the denture a little by little without being too rough. As you can see, you know, I'm reducing the thickness of it here because then it's bothering you or oh, too long you can cut from the back it's too long you can cut from the back again if it's bothering the area of your tongue you feel like a, it's digging out there it's, it's too long it's digging you can kind of like do this again you can come back and use this in order to smooth it out So same way with the top, if the top is, is not going in in your mouth, if it's not going at all, or you just had a surgery, or uh, you, you forgot to put it on, or the doctor did not put it on, then a few days or weeks later, 
you can try to put it on but then the technician did not do his job to relieve all these areas you know and then she's not going in just kind of like relieve the undercut or the flanges when you feel like your dentures is going up in your nose you know this is called flanges over here you know you just kind of like grind that out just grind it out or you feel like it's too bulky and you feel like a chipmunk kind of a smile or chipmunk uh, feeling you feel like uh, it's right up on your nose and and uh, you feel like uh, you're chewing uh, something you reduce this area right here you reduce it you come and reduce again I'm using the, the chorus part of it but you can go back in and kind of a reduce it with this kind of a like a uh, uh, smoother surface so if it's too long and and then too high and you feel like uh, it's bothering you everywhere you can re relieve the flanges area and you can put it back in your mouth and and analyze what where you can trim or if you puking or want you to gag every time that you put in your mouth you just grind the back if it's too long and make you gag grind the back or you want to do a horseshoe you know, horseshoe. You're gonna have to put it on high speed for horseshoe. See? You put it on high speed, don't be scared. Hold it on really good. Depending how long you want your horseshoe, you're horseshoeing. I think I would leave it like this. If it was me, it's enough. Some people want it all the way down here. But remember, if you're horseshoeing your denture, you will need adhesive for some people. Always. You see? They will be it. So again, this was loud. So, but if you horseshoe and you denture, you're gonna be needing adhesive. I will leave it like this. I will leave it like that. Not all the way here. Because when you bring it all the way here, you don't have no retention. You don't have no areas also to pull your adhesive. If you leave it like that, you can still put adhesive right here and your denture is still gonna be uh, working. So for horseshoe, I think um, some people wanna go into the stream, but I will leave it right there. So then, uh, but you compromising, you gonna be using adhesive uh, for the rest of of you with this denture so again uh, those are part of my ideas and uh, I guess I hope you uh, learn some of them 
and uh, I guess I mean I get I can uh, again I reg I I recommend to first go into your dentist and and he can do all this work for you but then if you're in a situation where you feel frustrated uh, then uh, you can venture out to learn how to do it yourself but remember they're not gonna be liable for any damage that you do to your denture so um, uh, again uh, if denture is too long and it's the most common and just relieve it from the back you don't have to horseshoe it if it's too long and the lower is bothering you um, just trim it from the from the the flanges it's called those flanges area if it's digging into your tongue uh, we can relieve so um, anyone who wears dentures should have some type of an instrument that they can have at home uh, where they can um, actually learn how to do those little adjustments to themselves. Again, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit a notification uh, so you can get notified every time you get uh, I, I load a new video. So uh, thank you again and have a great weekend.